Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell services on Squarespace. The first thing you want to do after creating your account on Squarespace, which is completely free, you're going to tap on Get Started. After you have selected Get Started, you'll be redirected to the template page. On the template page, you can go over to type and then from here, for example, if you were to select services, then scroll down, you will see different templates that they recommend to create our website. So you can select any one of these templates that is to your liking. For example, I will be selecting this template. After selecting the template, you can choose the color scheme that you would like to use. So for example, I would like to use this color scheme then you're going to tap on start with this design. After selecting start with this design, you'll now be redirected to the editor page. Once your editor page loads up, you're going to be prompt to enter your site title or your website name. So let's do that real quick. You can see it is being configured in the background. So you'll tap right here and you can enter your title. For example, I will be selling consult, consulting services. So I'll say consultation. Then I'm going to tap on close. After you have selected close, you can see your site title right there. Now the first thing you'll need to do is edit your template or your theme so you can see how it looks at the moment. To start editing it, you're going to tap on edit in the top left hand corner. After selecting edit, you will be redirected to a new page as you can see right here. So from now on, wherever you hover with the mouse, you'll be able to edit. So for example, if you would like to change the header section, you can simply hover over it and tap on edit site header. Then from here, if we'd like to change the title right here, we can simply tap on it. And I'm going to be changing the title to JSON consults. So let's do that. Then you can also add a logo to your website if you want by tapping on add logo. After doing that, you can go on down. So let's say for example, you would like to edit the text right here. You can simply tap on the text, then tap on the pencil icon. And from there, you will be able to edit the text. Another thing that you can also do if it is a case that you would like to add a text box or an image to a section that you don't see it, you can tap on add block in the top left hand corner. After tapping on add block, if it is a text, you'll simply tap on text. If it is an image, you can select image. If you would like to add a form or anything like that, you can quickly add it by tapping right there. You can select embed or you can paste in a HTML code or so on if you want. Now to continue, we'll simply scroll down and let's say we'd like to change this image. You could hover over the image, then tap on edit sections from the right hand menu option, then tap on background. Then from there, you could simply tap on replace. Then you can either choose to upload an image or you could tap on browse stock images. After you have tapped on browse stock images, you could type in something. For example, I'll type in consultant and see what it recommends. And then let's say, for example, I would like to use this image. I can simply tap on it, then tap on add image. And you'll now realize that the background image has changed. As you can see right here, the image has now changed as you can see there. After you have changed the image, and by the way, you could change it to a video if you wanted to by simply selecting video. You can also change the alignment and size if you want by selecting those options. After doing that, you can continue by scrolling down and you can continue changing each section by hovering over it. And if it is a case that you would like to remove a section, you can simply hover over it, then tap on remove. Now to create services, all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top left hand corner. Once it has been saved, you're going to tap on exit in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to tap on selling from the left hand menu option. After selecting selling, you're going to see the option products. You're going to tap on that. 
Then after selecting products, we are going to tap on service since we are selling service. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a new dashboard on which you'll be able to create your product. So as I said earlier, I'll be selling consultation. So I would type in consultation right here. Then from here, you could add a cover image. So you could add an image of yourself. So let me select an image of myself real quick. So let's say, for example, this one, I'll be using this one again. You can simply tap on the image that you'd like to use. So I'll use this one. Then from there, you can go back. You can tap on the three dots right there. You can see the image. After you have selected the image, you can simply tap on close. Now we'll tap on next right here. After you have tapped on next, you can enter the price for your service. So let's say for example, $10 and we leave the stock as infinite. So it is unlimited. Then you will tap on add more details. After you have selected add more details, you could add a quick description. And if you would like to add any additional information, you can do that. And by scrolling down again, you can add images right here by tapping on add images. So let's say, for example, I were to add a random image just for example sake. So I'll select a random image real quick as the cover image. So let's say that one and you can see the price right there. Then by scrolling down, you can read more about it. And if it is a case that you would like to offer additional services you would like to add on, you can also do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. So let's tap on save real quick. After you have tapped on save, you can now set up the different payment options. So you're going to tap on payments. Then from here, you will be able to connect Stripe and PayPal and Square Pay. By doing this, you will offer your customers or potential customers multiple payment options, which in turn will increase your conversion rate. So you can simply connect Stripe or PayPal or Square right here. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now, you can tap on subscription plan as you will need to go on one of the paid plans on Squarespace to offer payment options. So you can start off with their $16 plan, although their best offer tends to be the $23 plan. So you can select that if you want. After you have done that, you will now be able to publish your website. But before publishing your website, what I want you to do next is you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you are going to tap on website. After selecting website, you are going to tap on store. And after selecting store, I want you to see right here where you see consultation. You'll simply tap right there. And you'll add consultation as your offer. So you want to ensure that it has been ticked and you can see it right there. So you can select whether you'd like it to be a half page or full page. We'll select half page for this example. So you can see it right there. So this is where they would go to book their consultation as you can see right here. So they'll simply tap on schedule a consultation. After they have done that, they'll be redirected to a new page on which they'll fill out their name and you fill out their email address as you can see right there. Then they can fill out the necessary information right here. And if it is a case that you'd like to edit this page, you could simply tap on edit in the top left hand corner to edit this page also. And you can scroll down and you can see how it looks right there. Once they are finished, they'll tap on schedule a consultation and that's it. I can tap on preview in the top right hand corner so you can better get a better view of how it would look. So you can see it right there. And if I were to tap on the website name in the top left hand corner, this is the home page at the moment. And as I said, it is quite easy to edit. Now let's go back. So we are going to tap right there and we're going to go back. So we'll tap on pages in the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on pages, you can tap on about us and you'll be able to edit the about us section. You can tap on edit right here in the top left hand corner. And again, the concept remains the same. You can edit the about us section as you can see right here. You can tap on exit. After you have done that, you can go over 
and you can tap on our services and you will see the demo services that they had filled in right here you can choose whether you'd like to delete that or not and you can also add a blog as you can see here and that's about it once you have paid you'll be able to publish your website and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe